Hi everyone, welcome to the VMD tutorials. First of all, I'm so sorry for not uploading videos as much as you request, but I'm so busy with the PhD stuff and I will try in the future to push harder to upload videos as much as you can. So uh, today's topic is we will try to start automation of the data analysis in VMD. What I mean by automation is by writing a long script that will perform all the basic analysis of the trajectory without interrupting it or without using the graphical user interface. Since we started these videos with beginners, we were going very slowly, focusing on the graphical user interface and staying away from the TK console or from the uh, command line. Because usually beginners freak out when, the, when they see the, the long script or something. However, it's easy and uh, more practical. So starting from, the, from this video, I'll try to write with you and comment on a script that I will write to perform all the basic analysis. And today we will start with the first part. So I wrote a script here. I will comment it out loudly with you and then we will try it. So the first part of the script will load your trajectory to VMD. So for this, we will use mol, the command mol, mol new, which will uh, load your protein structure file. So we will say mol new, my file name is urea.psf and the type psf. And then as we used to do with the graphical user interface, we used to add a trajectory to an existing loaded psf file. So the same, we will use the command mol add file. And then I will write my trajectory name urea.dcd. But you don't have to write the name, I mean, or we don't have to be in the same working directory, for example, because I'm working here in this directory and, and I have my files here, so I write the name of the file directory. But if your trajectory in another uh, folder or somewhere in your machine, so you can write uh, the whole path of the, of the file, and then you write the name of the trajectory. So again, to add the, the, the trajectory file to the existing or loaded PSA file, I will use mol add file urea.dcd and the type of the file is dcd and then I will start from the zero frame, the first zero and the last minus one and minus one means till the last frame and then you can adjust this based on what you need you can start even from 100 frame to uh, whatever minus minus 100 or minus 5 or whatever and here is the step is one means the stride one I'm not skipping anything I'm going one by one but if you have uh, here 10 and then you load 100 uh, frame trajectory, it will load only 10 because it's skipping uh, 10 frames in each time. And this is also very important, wait for all, means I'm asking VMD to stop and wait the, the whole trajectory to, to be loaded into uh, the, the program and don't perform anything from the subsequent lines in the in, in the in the script, not to cause any error or problems in the future. And the reason for this is your trajectory will be quite long and, and will take time to be loaded, so VMD might jump to continue the script, so I'm asking wait for all. Okay, so now we loaded our files. The second part of, oh, of, the, oh, of this script is I will wrap my trajectory to avoid any RMSD calculation errors. Usually, let's check it here. Usually uh, the proteins gets out of the box and then if you don't wrap everything into the center of the simulation cell as you will see now, you will get a huge uh, RMSD values. You see, uh, the protein somewhere got out of the simulation box so we need to wrap everything and center the protein in the center of the box and center this cell into the, 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 the center of the of the simulation of the simulation cell okay so because if, if you calculate the RMSD in this way you will really get huge because VMD will get confused with this part so to avoid anything you might need you might not need this but I'm just uh, I brought the worst case just just in case so I will ask uh, uh, VMD to use the periodic boundary condition to wrap my uh, my protein uh, protein will be in the center and I will I will wrap everything into the center of the uh, uh, simulation, uh, into the unit cell. Okay, so it's a BBC issue if you don't apply the periodic boundary condition, so it might be a different issue. So 
if you don't want to use this you just uh, you can you can you can uh, comment it out where's my sorry the trajectory the <laughs> The keyboard is in Turkish. Okay, now it's saying you can you can comment it out, but I will keep it because as you see, my protein is is out is out of my box, so I need it. I need to get it. Uh, I need to get it into the center. Okay, so now we load it and we wrapped everything to the center, and then uh, and then as you know, we before we perform our MSD, we had to align the trajectory. Let's go to the graphical user interface. We had to align first and we had to choose backbone and protein and then we say this is the automatic one so we have to do the same here it's quite simple so we will align everything into the first frame or the first frame here means frame zero so i will set a, a variable called reference and i will select in this reference atom select top because i have only the top molecule uh, so i mean if you have here if you load m multiple molecules to VMD, you will write here zero one or whatever the your molecule ID. But we have only one one molecule here, so I will set the reference as atom select protein and backbone because we are interested in the protein backbone uh, RMSD, which is C N and O atoms, and then frame zero. So this will be my reference. Okay. Then we will choose the part of the protein that will be compared, the frame to be compared. So I will create another variable called compare. It will be also atom select top protein and backbone. And it has to be the same as the reference. You cannot align two structures or two part of the structures with different uh, atom numbers. So it, the VMD will give you an error saying you cannot compare or you cannot align different structure. Okay, so now we set the reference there is a serene for police outside so sorry for that i will not record again because every time something interrupts me i have to record again so it's quite uh, traffic police is outside so you may you may not hear it i don't know but let's focus on okay so we we are aligning now i got i got distracted because of this anyway so we are aligning the structure and we set a reference that we'll, we we will align to the zero frame and also to make you in contact with the automatic way we used to align here into the reference zero frame okay so it is just the same so we are aligning to protein and backbone and frame zero and we will compare also protein and backbone so we have the reference and we have the part to compare and when we we, we need to know or we need to inform vmd about the number of frames that we have in trajectory so i will assign the number of frames or I will call it number of steps so I will use mol info the command in vmd that will get you an information mol info top get num of frames number of frames okay and I will save it as number of steps so now we have three variables that we will use them into a for loop that we will it will iterate through the trajectory and calculate the rmsd for each time step but before I go for for the out file for the for the for the for loop let's open an out file and we will say set out file this will be the variable for out file and we'll say open i'll call it rmsd whatever dot that and we will be in also in writing and reading mode because we will put our values into this file so it should be also into a writing mode okay then we will go for a very simple for loop for which we will declare the variable we will set frame to zero and we will ask vmd to loop and continue until the end of the frame so wherever whenever the, the the frame number is less than the maximum number of the frame we will continue and then we will the increment will be another frame then we will compare our frame to to the to the frame zero that we have okay and then we will compute the four by four transformation matrix that will take the coordinates of our uh, current frame into the reference frame okay so we will ask vmd to set a variable called transmat and we will use measure fit measure fit is the command that compute this transformation matrix and we will compute it for our compare you remember what's compare the part that we are comparing now the current frame to the reference frame so we will calculate or the compute the transformation matrix needed to to, to take our 
current current coordinates into the reference okay to be able to align them together okay then we have the transformation matrix i mean but we have it now we know the numbers that we need to move back to the reference to fit the structure into the reference so th then we will ask vmd to do the alignment so we will ask vmd for the variable compare move by transformation matrix so now you will see your structure aligned to the reference okay and then we will compute the rmsd and this is very simple i will set a variable called rmsd and then measure rmsd for my compare and and uh, to the reference so now we computed the deviation of our compare to the reference after alignment and alignment is important this measurement would be meaningless uh, if you don't align to the reference because RMSD is quite the deviation from your reference. So if, if you don't know how are you how much are you are you deviated from your reference, so uh, you, you cannot co compute the RMSD. I mean, if you don't have a reference aligned, you can you cannot compute the RMSD. And of course, you will not forget to write your your, your values into and out files. Okay, so the out files will contain two columns the frame number and then the RMSD so I will put put the TCL command that, that writes the variables to the out files that we declared at the beginning and then frame frame it's here so it starts from zero until the number of steps we know it and RMSD we already set it here and we measure it for each frame okay then I close the loop and I will ask uh, VMD to close the out file okay I hope you got it. So simple again to sum up everything. You load a trajectory, you wrap it to avoid any problem, you set uh, some variables, you will use it later in a for loop, which is a reference that we compare to, and then the compare the part of the protein we compare, and then the number of steps that we need to use in our loop, and then we start from frame zero and start in increment, uh, increasing by frame until we reach the end, and then we compare and do the alignment and move and compute and then write. Okay, so that's quite simple. And you may say now, why not we using the automatic RMSD trajectory tool? I mean, when you have many of trajectories and and many of analysis to do, it, it is better just to source a script and, and let it and let it go by itself without interrupting and go to do another something else. Because we will continue later with RMSF or SASA with RDF and all the analysis. So at the end of this series, we will end up with the longest script that perform everything. Okay, so let's save and go and try it quickly because I don't like long videos. Okay, so I have it. I call the script auto.tcl and I will go to the console and I will source my script. It is A capital. Yeah. And I will hit enter. Now it is. Oh. oh that is very nice. There is a problem here. Let's check the RMSD. Yeah, it worked. This is just a visualization issue. So now it is. It is just of. Uh, it is just you have the number of frame here. So until I have uh, 70, 72, and then you start with the. You have here the 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 RMSD. So I just maybe because. We already had a trajectory before, and that's why we got this. So let's let's open VMD and and try again. It is it is sure, guys. It, this is the RMSD that we need, but just I'm curious what happened. Maybe because we performed two wrapping in the same time. I don't remember if I removed the trajectory or not. I have to watch the video again. But instead of making a new video, so let's check the script. Yeah, it is fine, and let's source it again. Okay. So this is just part of the uh, of the alignment. Okay. So here you have the 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 RMSD. Of your trajectory, and then you can plot it and 
and you continue your analysis and that's it for today and I will continue with the RMSF and Sasa and whatever but this is the part one I don't want to make the video too long and if you have any questions uh, let me know and if you need this script just I'll try to, to post it in the video description or in the comment but sometimes YouTube doesn't allow uh, anything that contains many variables and something like programming stuff so just if you don't find it just write a comment with your email and I will send it to you Thank you and uh, see you in the next video.